Hello everyone, today a different video, this object sucks for kiddos. see I still have some progress keepers and if you've probably noticed one is slightly bigger than the other but I think that will give a little bit of an extra handmade item vibe as you may remember I did a swap check in the Tinkerbell group and then it's swap links down below all links down below so um, yeah I swapped yarn with with Audrey I could not resist to knit those socks on the screen you can see it at the first pair from those leftovers. Actually, they weren't that leftovers. They were like almost 50 grams, wasn't it? So I had some uh, extra and I thought I'm going to knit socks for uh, a young lady. And as you can see, I did used a Helix method. So I was mixing it with a different leftovers, which I got from Diane. So we have over here collaboration between Audrey and Diane. <laughs> I just, I just knit socks. So anyway, so this is the yarn I got from Diane. I think it's a knit picks. So Diane, if you're watching, let me know. I presume it is. It has a nice twist, high twist. I hope you can see it. And those gentle speckles. And I was continuing that for the whole sock and finish with the ribbing two by two. I cast it on, well, 10 stitches and increase every second until I got 48 stitches to knit in a round and I managed to knit on nine inches circulars I use your size one which is 2.25 millimeters and I'm just guessing it's going to be it's going to fit I heard watching Denise or other podcasters who has kids or knitting for kids that you don't need to have a heel so um that way the the person can actually use it for a little bit longer and i'm thinking i'm going to leave it that way um i feel a little bit unstable because of that but i will live with it <laughs> audrey i also got this yarn i used it for the previous sock Ooh, previous sock but it was a little piece so i can't use it but i may use it in uh, to knit my full of movies hat if you know don't know what that is maybe on the screen something over here so uh, i like to gather 24 five gram minis to five grams to knit at and um, yeah i will need 24 which is like 120 grams but that will be my fun thing to do during the center at least i hope so i'm hoping to put that in and maybe that too overall everything in the beautiful string bag, handmade bags by Diane, and uh, I live in Ireland, she lives in Canada, and I love the idea of having two fabrics uh, on both sides. I feel I have two bags, not one, and I finished it with a keychain in my shop. Sucks, just to know what's inside. And I may have a few whips on the go. Now, so if you have a kiddo or you have knitted for a kiddo, let me know how many stitches you need, what age. So roughly I would know for the future if, you know, I know everyone has a different uh, foot size, but, um, you know, a rough idea. At the end of the day, the yarn stretches a bit. So if that one suit, kids normally know more kids. So um, they can always gift it as a present. Check the video, Helix Method, now. <laughs> <laughs>